Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host of Hut, and of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut if you haven't already. I got a couple of things here, some, some new things in this video. Uh, I haven't been doing any live streams, because I don't feel that, uh, I just know if I've been busy doing my graphic novel, but there is a new feature on the chat. It is akin to what is a super chat. It's a super thanks. So if you send me like a super thanks, which is equivalent to a super chat, on this video, it brings a little revenue onto the channel and it helps me out a lot and it'll help me get more videos out for you and help you help me get more content in terms of live streams and whatnot. But it really would help me out. Check it out. Hopefully it works. I enabled it a little while ago. And hopefully you check it out. I don't know where it is on here, but uh, I guess you click on the super thanks, you send me something, and you know, well we'll say and you you can do like a call for comment. That's how it was described, and uh, let me know what you think. So, here we go. We got a little article, a couple of tidbits here. A couple of tidbits here about the Mets. Uh, this is from J John Heyman. Uh, John, ha John Heyman. <clears throat> uh, science suggests David Stern is interested in Mets' top baseball job. You know that John uh, uh, David Stearns is the uh, president of baseball in, in Milwaukee. So the article goes, the feeling is Brewers baseball president David Stearns has an interest in the Mets' top baseball job. And we know Mets owner Steve Cohen had designs on him at one, at one time. Stearns, a New York City native, has an out in his contract if he goes as far on the playoffs. It is believed he can leave at the Brewers' reach the NLCS. Uh, Cohen is understandably thought to be pleased with GM Billy Epler's work thus far. Brewers GM Matt Arnold received an extension in the offseason at the Mets expressed interest in him. While there's no evidence Stern, Stearns has assigned one. Stearns is good, but let's not forget his predecessor, Doug Melvin, who the Mets turned down for a GM job. They should have hired Doug Melvin instead of uh, Brody Van Wagenen. Uh, was Brewers GM for some very low key from some very key moves. Corbin Burns, Brand, Brandon Woodruff, Josh Hader, and manager Craig Council, among others. So We'll keep an eye on, uh, on David Stearns. Now, this isn't this is deep in the article. It's about possible Met move. You'll see in the thumbnail. Uh, the Mets are killing it, but the expectation is they may seek relief help at the deadline. The Mets need help with the bullpen. Uh, they've been great with the, with the back end with uh, Diaz and Shreve and Drew Smith. They need a little help because it would Trevor May haven't gotten hurt, and who knows when he's going to come back. And they're a little light in the middle part of the game. And, you know, Adovino's up and down. So Mets, he's a journeyman. You know, that's got to be a little careful. So one closer who make, could make sense is Trevor Rosenthal, who's expected to showcase in coming weeks. Uh, also, the Mets could use a catcher in this article. Uh, a catcher might be in a position to look at as well. Like I said, Met, that was one position the Mets could use some help. They gained very little offensive production behind, behind the plate. The guys are playing good defensively. Uh, they've they've caught a good game. Uh, James McCann de defensively and calling call the games, they've both been good. Him and Nino have been very good, but they haven't hit. So the Mets gonna have to look at look at Wilson Contreras. Keep an eye on him. Uh, Chris Bassett is proven to be a good personality as well as, as as a pitcher for the Mets. He should be a good extension candidate, as Joel Sherman wrote. We'll see about Bassett. We want to see him uh, pitch a full season here in New York. But uh, let me know what you think about this video. And, of course, subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Check out the new feature, the new feature that's on the channel called a Super Thanks. So if you're interested in, in sending me what I guess would be considered Super Chat, just send me a Super Thanks. It helps me out. It's a little bit more money in the pocket. And then I'll be able to get to some games. I do plan on going to a game in the next few weeks. And maybe I'll do a video there, but we'll see. So let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut, and I'll see you later.